Uh, you ready? <laughs> Are you recording or am I recording? <laughs> I was. Oh, it's race day, people. 2.4 hours of limo, it's 2021. I'm gonna be in car number 20 and with JH, I'm gonna be going first. And wait till y'all see the paint scheme that we've got brewing. It's gonna be a little throwback NASCAR action for you, just like the McDonald's Ranger was. And I gotta say, I'm pretty hyped about it. Now the course is gonna be completely different than any of the other races. We're throwing in a kidney. They're bringing us into the infield and then back out onto both banks. So here's a good look at it. First, you know, we're gonna, there's the finish line over there where Crispy is. And we start, we come around and then we come into the infield. You can see these blue barrels that have water in them. You come in here and then you come back out here and hit the bank. It's only gonna make it more difficult on the drivers, but I'm excited to change it up a little bit. See the car? Should I we am, show dude. the people? So, whoa, 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 whoa. So I have barely even seen the car. Parker's been here the whole time. I came late. I didn't realize that we were coming early today. So I did work. I came late. Parker pretty He much showed up out. like as 10 minutes after the driver's meeting started. Parker, Parker basically knocked out 95% of this. So props to Parker. I think I painted one strip of yellow and then uh, the rest is Parker. So props to Parker on this. Let's show him. Oh, the Tide throwback. Let's go. We're eating Tide Pods tonight, guys. We're eating Tide Pods before the race. <laughs> All right, as you guys know, went to, with the McDonald's theme last time for the Ranger, now we're doing the Tide. So we're going to keep rolling with these NASCAR themes. Look at that thing. It's going to look so weird on camera. Let's check out some of the other cars. We got Haley Deacon right next to us with Seaboys TV. And side by side blog, always repping it. Hey, all nice. And Von Gittin and Kurt. So these are the first four cars that are going to be up for the first round of qualifying. I'm going to do the qualifying and going to be running first. JH is going to be running second. He's ran a lot of races, and so he wants to let me at least have get some driver's time before he probably destroys the car because that's what he's done for every other race. All the cars slow down. And so, like, so, in yeah. an actual NASCAR race, like, you're not going to be hauling through it as, yeah. as fast. People slow down to go fast. So basically it's crazy. Happen, the idea is still at debate. Do you know what these guys are talking about? No idea. Maybe how to get, how to, get to freaking Wawa? You know, last year, me and Nick Seuss completely dominated the whole race. So You took my boy, dude. Bro you took my key, dude. Brothers for life! <laughs> We actually were talking. We almost traded you guys out. That would have been. Make you a Leo. Make you a Leo a partner, and then me. Yeah, a yeah. Are you going first? I ain't going first. Ooh, see you me, dog. Oh, yeah. You qualifying? Qualifying. All right, I'll be. I'll be watching out for you. You know. I'll be watching out for you. Dude. Normally, <laughs> normally I go first, but I want to be thoughtful. I was actually really surprised by that. I was like, for sure, he's gonna bully himself into the first position. And <laughs> what? This guy, dude, are you sure you want to be It wasn't by choice, it was by, <laughs> it was a range team's. Uh, hey, we better make sure this thing starts before we wait until qualifying. What do you think? Put on the limiter right off while she's cold, or should I put some heat in the motor? Just literally, I was going to say put on the limiter as you're starting. Put some it. heat in the motor. Heat in the motor needs to happen for sure. like it's running on all eight yeah she'll be fine she'll be fine how many hey, miles hey, uh, hey i uh i removed the restrictor plate to <laughs> give the blue dragon 139 not too bad we'll take that there's other cars with way more miles on them so, all right, guys, I got Ken here. Right? How's it going, dude? Yep. Seaboys TV. Seaboys TV. I'm going to be first qualifying. He's going to be right behind I'm me. I'm going second. He's never been out on the track before, so. This will be, be my first lap ever here. Are you a quick so, learner? I hope. <laughs> you got to be quick to win. 
<laughs> you got to be quick to win for sure. So he's going to be qualifying. We got to lay down our fastest time, and that's going to determine where we're at in the starting grid for when the actual race starts. So we're going to get started here in about 10 minutes and then get a couple hot laps in and bring it back to the pits, get everything situated, and get started. All right, let's go. Good luck, man. Hey, you good? Oh, what's that? You good? You good? No, I'm not taking the good? No, no, no. No, it's okay. Take it. Just take it. Take the money. He took the 20 earlier. Yeah, he did. He took it. Maybe, should we, try, the first should we try 40? Yes. Yeah, hang on, hang on. First one was 50, he's getting stingy. There's more where that came from. <laughs> Here we go, suit it up. Number one in qualifying, so I am the first person out here. Stands are full of people, we got a beautiful sunset. I'm gonna lay down three hot laps, try and put my best time down to see how we can get placed up in the starting grid. The lap this place, but you know what? Before we race, we have to have qualifying, Nick, and what we're going to do is some group qualifying. So this is the warm-up lap, and if you watch last year's race, you're seeing something different on the backstretch. It's a kidney-shaped three-eight mile track. It's almost like a kink, a bus stop, a chicane, whatever you call it, on the back straightaway. It's going to make for a definitely a very interesting race. I'll just tell you that right now. All right, dude. Let's see where we qualify at. We are, oh, second, third Ooh, from last. 16 was our time. Uh, 24, 420. 420. All right, so a lot um, of 24s on here, though. Yeah, there are. 23s for the top eight. 23 though. So. Seuss with the, wow. Yeah, buddy. Wow, he's, he's fast out there. Move your finger just a little bit. Okay, nine. Yeah, All right, man. Well, we got Vice Grip behind us and Diesel Dave. So I'm that's glad not, those two are behind us because uh, they didn't have a good race past couple races. You have to be careful. You better get away from them. Right. Get away from those reckless people. Right. Is he on fire? What do you got in here? What's burning? <laughs> I love it. Whatever. I love it. It's awesome. What'd you say? Is everybody's nitrous nice on? It's about to be. Hey, Let's get we have to figure this out ourselves. Can so we can give me a real spicy countdown and we can rev these. It wasn't on. The moon. We have no bottle pressure. No, our gauge is broken. broken. Oh, thanks a lot. We get shafted, dude. I'm telling you what. <laughs> the tires. Broken, the tires are old. Let's tell you what, that matter. We're still catching up. We're, We're going for it. You know what my strategy is? I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump the green. <laughs> <laughs> the Summit Racing Equipment Delivery Truck is off. Green flag is in hand. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing. Two point four hours of one bullets. Looks like that 21 car. Nick side by side blogs gonna come into turn two. Staying out front, Ronnie Renner. That two or that 2501 car. These two right here, the 74 car and the 20 car. 74 car, Jamie with PI, PFI, and then Park Teeth and Turbos. And now we got blue barrels everywhere. We've got Stevie Fast. So here's the 999, Weston Chaplin. Is he going to get one done? <laughs> you see all the water. You, you need a nap or what? Yeah, I'm just taking one right here. This grass is so nice. I drove through it a few times. I wanted to see how it looked. Is it all up? I mean, we still have 37 minutes left in this segment and 45 more minutes, and I still see that yellow light blinking on that 38 car. Oh. Yeah, he's ripping right there coming into turn two. Heavy on the brakes. But you got right behind him, Ronnie Renner. You got Bond Witt Jr., and you got Nick from Side by Side Blog, followed up by Cletus McFarland in that number 48 car. Ripping into Terran through the bus stop area. Yo, Brian Deegan, he's out there just leading this rap. Like you said, I don't think it matters if it's on two wheels or four. He's out here full send. He's trying to get this first uh, first heat victory. PFI. Boy, look at that. Looks like you got beat the turbos out there lighting the tire down pad. Must know the race is over because for him, them tires are gone. Yeah, pretty much there will be no grip left in the rear tires. Just sitting out there, just enjoying the evening right now on the skid pad. <laughs> Boy, you talk about just letting it eat. Can he bust a tire out there? That's Parker Mitchell, teeth and turbos, letting it eat. Well, the race is still going on and I'm not racing. The car broke after like the first four laps. 
I was down at least a cylinder. I was fine in the corners, but on the straightaway, everyone was just freight training me. So I was going way too slow, and so they told me to just pull off the track. So I just did a big burnout. I mean, that was pretty fun. Gotta give some love to the third place. We don't have a trailer, right? <laughs>